everybody I'm back again with another video so you recognize my face I know I haven't made a video in so long and I'm really really sorry yes I'm really really sorry I think this is the longest time I haven't made a video on YouTube I think I'm taking a two-month break um, school started in August and from then it was just like a heavy load like I have a test here quiz here paper here blah 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 and I've just been so like scatterbrained and exhausted and everything so I do apologize and I hope you guys forgive me I figured that it'd be a great idea to do like a September favorites video because I haven't shown you guys any of the products that I've been using for the longest time So I figured that it'd be really really interesting to show you guys and I have to say that this is probably gonna be My best favorites video yet because I do have like a selection of things like I have stuff from like nails to uh, skincare to brushes to Just makeup in general So I just figured that I think this is like the best favorites video that I've ever done So I really hope you guys do enjoy this um, if you guys have any questions feel free to comment below and yes, let's just get started now. So anyways, I'm going to get started with skincare. First thing that I've been loving and using almost every two weeks is the Biore Deep Cleansing Pore Strips. And these are amazing, especially if you have large pores on your nose that tend to get clogged. This is great. Um, if you guys are wondering if it really works, it really does work. Um, I kind of want to show you guys like a video of how this works and how I use it and actually show you guys like the results of it. I know it kind of sounds disgusting, but honestly, it's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. It's so crazy to see like how many little things it actually takes out. It's like I'm God and when I hold this nose strip, I'm like God. There's like so many little things stuck on there. It's really disgusting, but it's really amusing at the same time. So I figured that I'm going to do a video. Um... You can purchase this at like Target, Walmart, anywhere, any drugstore, whatever. Um, this is the 14 pack and it comes with both nose strips and face strips. Um, I honestly like the nose strips more because I feel like they actually take out more. But yes, really, really great product and I would highly recommend it. Next would have to be nail polish. And I, I bet you guys are wondering like, nail polish? This girl doesn't wear nail polish. I honestly don't. And just recently back in August, um, I went to go get a manicure for like the very first time. Like, I swear to God, I've never gotten a manicure. Just figured, just because I figured that, you know, my nails are really ugly and small. And I just felt like if I was to paint my nails, I'd look like a little five-year-old girl or whatever. So, you know, I just never got a manicure. I always got pedicures, but not manicures. So I actually gave the manicure a try and I painted my nails red and I just fell in love with it. I just liked the way it looked so I've been just really into nail polishes. So the nail polish that I've been loving for the month of September is this one from Essie. And this is called Tarte Deco. If you guys can see. No, there you go. So this is called Tarte Deco. And it's just a really, really cute peach color. I have it on my nails right now. Um, I think the lighting is making it look a little bit more brighter than it really is, but it's um, in person It's like a peachy color like a peachy tart color and I'm um, just really really cute I feel like it's you know appropriate for fall um, I'm just really excited that I could paint my own nails now. Yay! But yes favorite nail polish of September Essie Tarte Deco Aww. All right, and a perfume that I've been using for, I guess, the entire summer and that I was never able to show you guys was this perfume by Escada. This is Escada Taj Mahal, and as you can see, the bottle is almost empty. I absolutely love the smell. It smells like, um, it's very, very fruity. Uh, my boyfriend said it smelled like strawberry starburst or something like that, but for me, it's like a mix of strawberry starburst and like flowers. I don't know. It just smells really girly and delicious, but the only thing that I have with this is that for me personally, I don't know if it's just because I'm wearing it, I don't feel like the scent lasts really long. Like I could smell it like on my way out, but when I'm out, I don't really smell it on me anymore. So I'm gonna ask my boyfriend to smell me and see if it still lasts. Oh, that kind of sounded nasty. If you are the type of person who loves like really fruity perfumes, this is the perfume for you. This like this is like the all-time perfume for you if you are really interested in like fruity perfumes. For this semi-annual sale, MAC actually made an exclusive brush set for Nordstrom. And it was amazing. Like when I saw it, I was like, okay, I have to get it. And yes, it sounds very, very pricey. Um, I bought this for $50. Like overall, I think that you get way more than what you pay for. So I'm going to show you guys the brushes really quick. And um, it actually came with four brushes, but I don't know where the last brush went. But anyways, uh, it's a brush set, so I'm going to show you guys. So it's called the Cinematic Face Brush, and I'm not sure if you guys are able to get it anymore, but um, I just fell in love with it. So it came with this makeup bag, 
And as you can see, it's really dirty because I've been using it for my everyday like makeup bag because it's so sturdy and the zipper is like really easy to like adjust and move that I really like. It's like a really high quality makeup bag. Um, it's like kind of like a pencil shaped kind. I don't know. It has like neon pink on the lining and it says MAC on the zipper. Came originally came with four brushes and I'm going to show you guys each brush. So it comes with um, a 194, a MAC 194 brush. And this is basically like a concealer brush. Next it comes with the 168. And this is basically a contour brush. And I use this all the time to, you know, contour and everything. It just fits right in my socket right there. So I just really like it. And I'm just able to blend everything out. And the fact that it's yellow is awesome. And the last brush that I have with me, because I lost the fourth one, is the MAC 187. And this is the reason why I bought this brush. So when I saw this, I was like, all right, I have to have it. And honestly, I love this brush. I love the fact that it's red. But it also blends everything so beautifully. Um, if I want full coverage, I usually turn to this brush because it really does give me full coverage when I use it. Yes, this is a really, really cute brush. The last brush that I was able to get was a purple brush, and that was the 190 foundation brush. And I have no idea where it went, so um, it's probably here somewhere. Let's get started with the makeup. I still have a lot of things to show you guys. All right, so the foundation that I've been using for pretty much like two months now is the Revlon Color Stay. Um, I absolutely love it. You guys have heard my review about it. It's a really, really great drugstore foundation that gives amazing coverage. I love wearing it to school because I could like sleep peacefully because I know that, you know, that my foundation won't transfer onto my shirt, you know, when I fall asleep in class. It's great. I just absolutely love it. So highly, highly recommended. Next, I'm going to show you guys my favorite blush and bronzo combo. Bronzo. <laughs> um, I want to show you guys my favorite blush and bronzer combo, which as you can see, it's like very, very shimmery. And I feel like every time I use this, it kind of brings like this glow into my face. Like I have it on my cheeks right now. I know the lighting is horrible. I know it kind of washes me out, but it really just gives me like this pretty effect on my cheeks. So I really, really do like it. And I'm so excited for my NARS Laguna bronzer because I finally hit pan. I've never hit pan on anything ever, like before, ever. So I've been using this every single day, this combo together. Um, hopefully the next item will, you know, change your mind and actually save you guys $17 because um, I've been using this every single day and honestly, I'm never going to spend $18 for an eyelid primer ever again. This is the e.l.f. eyelid primer and honestly, I think it works like better than the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is in my opinion, I feel like the consistency is better. Um, I use this every single day and my eyeshadow doesn't crease and it's only a dollar. And the fact that they sell it at Target, you know, you could save money on shipping now is great. So I'm gonna give you guys a swatch. Really, really creamy and it just blends out. Really, really good stuff, highly recommend it. You guys can find it at Target now, so go out and get it. Just go, like pause this video and then go out and get it. So for the last segment of my favorites video, I, I kind of want to get this to, you know, roll off and, you know, stick into your mind every time I do a favorites video. Um, but yes, this is going to be my second stash or trash series, I guess, in my favorites video. And basically what I do is I show you guys a buzzworthy, like, product, like something that's been, like, um, raved about or like very very popular like in drugstore or high-end or whatever but basically I'm just going to show you guys a product that's been like very very popular and tell you guys if it's either worth stashing in your makeup collection or trashing yeah so this is why stash or trash series number two and I'm going to show you guys a drugstore eyeliner today it's the physician's formula 2-in-1 lash boosting eyeliner plus serum eyeliner and um, I've heard so many great reviews about this, and so I finally went out and bought it. And honestly, this is worth sashing your makeup collection. The best drugstore liquid liner I've ever used. The felt tip itself is awesome. You guys could really tell that. You guys could get really a lot of control. Um, it's thin. You guys can make a really thin line. You guys can make a really thick line. Like, it's really up to you. You guys get a lot of control. I have it on today, and um, I guess this is more like of my fall look, like more neutrals and gold and everything, but I lined it with brown eyeliner because black would have been too harsh. It would have looked, it would have just like pretty much killed the whole look that I was going for for like a soft, like autumn look, but um, yes. As you can see, I was able to like flick it out, no problem. So I really, really do love this eyeliner. So if you are looking for a drugstore eyeliner right now, definitely check this out. This is really, really good stuff. I think it's comparable to like the Japanese eyeliners, $10 at Target. So if you guys are interested, definitely check this out. Um, I, I highly recommend it, like five stars. If, 
I don't know, out of 10, I'll give this like a 9.5. This is a really, really good liquid eyeliner and I would definitely repurchase. All right, so that's the end of my favorites video. I hope you guys enjoy all those products. I did show you guys quite a lot of products. So if you guys you know, have any questions or anything, feel free to leave it in the comment box. But yes, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I will see you guys all next time. Bye. But honestly, I honestly don't. Um, I honestly, I'm honestly, I honestly, but I honestly, and honestly, and honestly, I think, honestly,